Welcome. Uh, it is time for our Spark of Faith weekly devotional. Uh, so if you didn't catch it last week, uh, we are doing a, a weekly live uh, and uh, using, sorry, using the Spark Story Bible. Uh, we'll have a different story every week and then uh, some ideas of what you can uh, do together as a family with that story, um, and then a prayer. So uh, just a quick time together, and we are going to go ahead and jump in. Um, if you uh, are watching this later, feel free to comment and uh, say, you know, give us pictures of things you've done or um, comment on how it went. Uh, if there is a story that you would like to hear out of the Story Bible, uh, feel free to let me know, and we can uh, definitely put that in the rotation. So today's story is Daniel and the Lions. Daniel loved God. He prayed every day and tried to live as God told him to. Daniel knew that no matter what, God was always with him. Daniel's good friend, King Darius, put Daniel in charge of many things in his kingdom. Some men got very jealous of Daniel and decided to get him in trouble. <laughs> they thought, we'll get Daniel yet. The man tricked the king into making a law that everyone had to pray to King Darius and not God. Anyone who broke this law would be placed into a full into a den full of lions. Yikes! Daniel was very afraid of lions, but he prayed to God anyway. Daniel knew he could get into big trouble. He also knew God would always be with him. Trouble came quickly. The men who tricked King Darius saw Daniel praying. Aha, they said, we've got him. Now he won't be the king's favorite. They went to tell the king, King Darius, Daniel is praying to God instead of you. King Darius looked puzzled. Daniel always prayed to his God. What was the big deal? Then the men reminded him, You must put Daniel into the lion's den. You made it a law. Remember? Oh no! King Darius didn't want to put Daniel in a lion's den. He didn't want Daniel to be hurt. But King Darius had to follow his own law. Daniel was put in with the lions. King Darius said, I hope your God helps you. He went home and stayed awake all night worrying about Daniel. In the lion's den, it was dark and scary. Lions growled all around Daniel. Daniel prayed, God, I know you are with me. Please help me. God was with Daniel. At sunrise, King Darius hurried to the lion's den and had it opened. Daniel, he called, are you there? Did your God save you? Daniel answered, I'm here. God kept the lions from hurting me. God always keeps me safe. King Darius was overjoyed to see his friend. From that day on, King Darius believed in God. So remember uh, that we have our friend Squiggles. Uh, Squiggles is our companion through these stories. Um, Squiggles felt very afraid. Look at him. Oh. Look at how scared Squiggles looks. They're in a den full of lions. That's really scary. So what does your scared face look like? Go ahead and show your scared face to everyone in your family. But God kept Daniel safe, right? Even though Squiggles was scared and Daniel was probably pretty scared too. So our question for this story is, how do you know that God is always with you, even in hard times? Because we know God is, right? <clears throat> even if we're scared or um, 
if we're afraid or things are really tough or maybe people are being mean to us like those guys were to Daniel. Doesn't matter. God is still with us. So take some time and talk about uh, how you know that God is with you. Today, we actually have three different activities you can do together as a family. Uh, so the first one uh, is roaring fun. Uh, I want you to come up with your best lion roar, right? So Daniel was thrown in with the lions and they made a lot of noise. But when Daniel prayed, God shut their mouths. So what does your roar sound like when your mouth is shut? Who can make the silliest shut mouth lion roar? Another activity you can do, uh, this whole story uh, can be found in the Bible in Daniel 6, verses 1 through 28. So Daniel chapter 6, and then verses 1 through 28. So have one person in your family read verse 16. Then read it again, but leave one word out. See who can remember which word it was that was left out. Once you figure it out, do it again, but have a different person read the verse and pick the word to be left out. Then just keep going until everyone's had a chance. And if you're having a hard time, just ask for help the way that Daniel did. So finally, uh, you can, as a family, talk about the times you were scared and about what helped you. Daniel prayed to God when he was scared. And prayer is an important part of our faith as Christians. It's how we talk to God and ask for help in our world and for our family and even for ourselves sometimes. So come up with a list of people that you can pray for and ask God to help them the way that God helped you. We're going to end together with a prayer today. Ready? Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for keeping us safe, even when we are scared. Be with us wherever we go and help us always. Amen. Thanks for watching and let me know if you've done any of these activities or if you come up with your own fun lion's den activities. We'll see you next week.